welcome to Botan Kitchen. My name is Bo and today I'm going to tell you the story behind this dish. One of the first time I met my brother-in-law, Danny. He then lived in Portland and came to visit my wife and I in Los Angeles. And at that time he was working at one of those fancy pants restaurants and of course he offered to cook dinner one night. Yes please. And it was amazing. I've been thinking about this dish lately, so today I'm going to try to make it myself. And I did call him yesterday for some final notes. So we got the sesame seeds, then we'll go on the tuna steak, then we'll get some wasabi mashed potatoes, and then we're gonna make some green beans on the side. Last but not least, the sauce, with some sweet soy glaze mixed with some butter. And no, I'm not sponsored by the soy nor the wasabi. They're good products I found at the store in Little Tokyo. So, first we rinse and cut the ends of the beans and then steam them for five minutes. Then we take them out and put them in ice water to prevent them from getting limp and set them aside for later. Next, I start peeling, cutting, then boiling the potatoes for the wasabi mash. The boiling takes about 20 minutes, which means I can work on the tuna. First, we pour a layer of seeds evenly on a plate about the size of the tuna. That way the seeds stay in place. What was that? I just poked the seeds for no reason. Weird. Okay, grab a towel, dry off the surface. Then we season it with some salt, pepper, lay it on the seeds. Then we do the same thing on the other side. Dab, salt, pepper, and flip it. And now we take it to the stove top. First, I take three tablespoons of butter and let it melt in the pan. And next, we take the steak and, oh, you fish. Okay, no worries, we can fix this. We just take some leftover seeds and fill in the gaps. No problemo. There you go. We're on medium heat, hot and sizzling. And to make sure I don't burn the seeds, I'll flip the steak after two minutes and do the same thing on that side. Check it out. It's getting close to that crispy look we want. Then I flip it back and let it go for one minute on this, this time. And then a last flip for the final minute. So three minutes total per side. And I like it medium rare to rare. And now we set it aside. Meanwhile, the potato's been simmering like this on the side. Well, not this violent. Anywho. So, making the wasabi mash. Two solid tablespoons of butter. One teaspoon of salt. And we start mashing away. Pour in a half cup of cream to make that nice fluffiness. Now start with a teaspoon of wasabi. And you want to taste the potatoes and adding a little bit at a time till you start feeling that tingle on your tongue. That's what we're after. Wasabi is really hard to measure and you sushi lovers know exactly what I'm talking about. Too much on your bite and it hits like a shock and now you feel like somebody just ripped your scalp off. I've been there. Just a little tingle on the tongue is what we want. It's a great compliment to the tuna and the sauce, I promise. Okay, sweet soy sauce. One and a half tablespoon of butter and three tablespoons of sweet soy glaze. And it's important that you take your time here and mix it together on low heat. Because if it gets too hot and start to sizzle, then the butter and the glaze will start to separate. Like it did here at my first attempt. You want to melt it together till it start looking like warm chocolate in the end. Just like that. Now we're gonna flash fry the beans real quick with some butter and some season them with some salt and pepper to give them good taste and color. So the last thing we're gonna do is to cut the tuna steak into half inch slices. And I can tell that this tuna is cooked just right. I mean, Look how beautiful that slice is. Yummy. Okay, let's put this all together, dressing the plate. 
first we get some sweet soy and stir it up a little and just dribble it on the front side of the plate dribble dribble and then we get the wasabi mashed potatoes and slap a big dab on the back side of the plate maybe a little extra there you go next up the green beans on the left side and here comes the tuna three beautiful slices on the right and I like to put some extra sauce on top just for giggles and for jizzles and here we are voila so if I can do this so can you yeah.